it depends uh, on how much time I have left at the end of the course. <laughs> Yeah. I'll let you know. Uh, I'll let you know at least uh, three weeks before the end of the course, so that so that people have some time to decide. Okay. The two hundred word summary is about the term, uh, the the about the topic, not the word nanotechnology. No. <laughs> it's a little bit confusing the way I write it. <laughs> it's, it's about the about your term paper. I, I think people can define nanotechnology, but uh, I want something related to nanotechnology uh, and, uh, and, and a brief abstract of what you're going to write about that topic in nanotechnology and uh, hopefully uh, something related to services uh, because not all nanotechnology are, are related to directly related to services but, but I think you, I want something to, uh, from the perspective of a service uh, point of view, so that people can realize the importance of social science in biotechnology. Okay, and I like to uh, people to start working on. We do a little bit of library research, uh, take out five references. It's not that difficult because uh, most of the nano sciences uh, work occurred in the last uh, ten years. Uh, so you just have to look up some general review and uh, and go from there. Start with the book that we have and, uh, and see what you got. Okay. Just a reminder, uh, we have a couple of weeks uh, for people to, to do that when people still have time <laughs> before all the midterms start kicking in. Uh, okay, so let me uh, start uh, now uh, formally on, on service structure. We spent a lot of time on introduction. Um, and uh, this is on the web. Uh, I have also downloaded, uh, except for the PDF version, I will make the PDF version on the entire topic on service structure. So, so I want to sort of give you a quick description of what it is and then I will talk about uh, um, the, the, the physical structure of the surface first and then some technique used, some common technique used to analyze the structure. And, and what the key word here is self edge, right? Self edge. Uh, it's a region, uh, so surface is not really just an imaginative plane. It's, it's a region of some finite thickness, right, finite thickness. Uh, but uh, there's no, pre uh, no periodicity in the, in the normal direction. So, so the picture I have uh, in the surface is actually you have a layer, you have a second layer, and then you have more layer, and then you eventually have uh, just like this, right? And then you have put the atom on this layer, right, like that. So this is my z direction, right? So, uh, so, so, uh, so here you, you may have changes between the spacing between these layers uh, until you hit certain part, part of your material and this spacing doesn't change anymore. Doesn't matter which direction you look, x, y, z direction you look, and if you look around and you don't see any changes in physical structure, then you have reached the bulk region. This is my bulk region. And anything on top of this bulk region is what I would call the surface or uh, cell edge to, 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 to sort of give you uh, a, a, a perhaps a concept that your surface really have some thickness. It's not just the first layer of that. Right? Of course, we, we always, when you think about surface, you always think of the first layer that you met, uh, but that's not true. In fact, a lot of things could happen uh, in the couple layer below them. And usually, this cell edge consists of two to three layer, uh, depending on uh, the material that you have. Usually, at least uh, around three layer. Beyond three layer, the spacing will not change anymore, and you have 3D periodicity, and at that point, we will say that you have reached the bulk. Okay? Um, so this region, uh, so once you're in the direction of the normal, when this spacing, all three directions remain unchanged, and you say this is the bulk, uh, and we'll start looking at basic lattice structure of the bulk first. So we actually, before we look at this, we look at the bottom part, and then we'll come back uh, to look at our two-dimensional uh, periodicity. Because this is, uh, because we learned something uh, in the undergraduate curriculum. We have solid state physics and solid state chemistry courses, and inorganic chemistry courses. And you have, you, I think, I hope you are 
somewhat familiar with this bulk material of the, of the solid. Uh, we teach you these things in first year chemistry uh, about crystal structure and, and things like that. Okay? So hopefully people will, will be more comfortable uh, when we talk about the bulk first and then come back and talk about the surface. So that was the plan. So here we will first focus on fundamental concepts including uh, basic description of crystal structure, X-ray diffraction, this is a technique commonly used to determine the crystal structure, reciprocal space lattice, reciprocal lattice, and Brion zone, Brion zone spelled wrong, so this should be L-O-U-I-N, uh, Brion zone. Uh, reciprocal space lattice, so it's a somewhat difficult concept, but we'll try to explain to you what they are. Uh, and then we'll uh, proceed to talk about higher up, this self, this self edge that I have, uh, to look at 2D, going from reduction of dimension from 3D, which is about to a 2D uh, structure. Uh, in some way, this is more uh, uh, complex uh, because of the loss of continuity in three dimension, uh, but in some other ways, it's, it's more simpler. And in this case, we'll use in a Nardus technique uh, instead of X-ray diffraction, we look at the electron diffraction as a means to determine the surface. Okay, so that's that's my plan for this, and uh, and so uh, so on next day I'm running out of time. Next day I'll come back and I'll move. Hopefully I'll move a little bit faster uh, on uh, to, to cover this material. Okay, so uh, also by the end of this week I will put up the first assignment on. So people have a 